Hello and thank you for joining us on Reaction Series. We'll be launching at least one reaction a week along with the other videos in our channel. If you like this video, please help us support the channel by clicking on the like and subscribe. Also, please don't forget to hit the bell so you will get notifications when we publish a new video. Well, hello again. Um, so welcome back to one of our reaction series. Uh, since we just had Father's Day just a few days ago, so three days to be exact, I thought it would be appropriate to see some proper parenting happening in the US. Now, this is from Dr. Phil, season 19. So I presume it's a semi-oldish video. I think it could be from last year. But I think it's quite appropriate for what we're going to talk today about. So as you can see, the title suggests that the father admits sending pregnant daughter money for a heroin. Now, I'm not a parent and I don't consider myself an expert in this, but something tells me that something awfully wrong is going on. All right, let's put the video and let's see what happens. I haven't seen my daughter Teresa in three years. The only time I hear from her is text. It is, hi daddy, I love you, send me money. Over the years, Barry and I have given Teresa over $50,000. I know. $50,000, well over the years, is that 10 years, three years, two years? I don't know, I wish my parents would give you half of that. No, I'm a world-class enabler. I've been sending Teresa money ever since she started using heroin. He's still giving her money. I send her about... Hold on. So, he has been giving her money ever since she's been starting using heroin. Okay. So, does that mean that he knows that she's using heroin? Or at least, did he know she was using it back then? About $150 a week. Barry parents out of guilt, and he's given Teresa money because of not being there when she was a child. I paid for Teresa's rent, clothes, jewelry. The rare time I would say no, she would text me back and say, Daddy, I need cigarettes and I need some food. I would send her money. But deep down inside, I knew it was for heroin. There's no. Deep down inside, he knew it was for heroin. So, why the f are you giving her money for drugs, huh? No doubt in my mind that Barry is funding her addiction. He sends Teresa a weekly allowance. I show Teresa my love and affection for her by taking her to have a hot meal or inviting her into my home to take a shower and get a good night's sleep. Barry shows his love for his daughter by sending her money. Barry consumed large quantities of alcohol. When I got pregnant, I stopped, but he continued to use cocaine, drinking, then ecstasy. I was married. Well, he's a role model, isn't he? So he was using all those drugs. Uh, I guess that explains why he's helping his daughter. Sorry, his pregnant daughter for drugs as well. You know, runs in the family, I guess. Married to Barry approximately five years and we got divorced because I found out he was having multiple affairs. I blame Barry for Teresa's addiction because of his lifestyle. When Teresa has her baby, I'm hoping Teresa is clean. If Teresa's not clean, I'm hoping I can take the baby home. I heard Dr. Phil say once, the definition of parenting is sacrifice, and I'm willing to do that. Well, joining us via Ionico is Karen. Uh, Karen, thank you for joining us today. You realize that this... Well, she put on some makeup on at least. <laughs> baby is going to be born uh, addicted to drugs, correct? Yes, yes. And um, what do you think should happen with this baby when it's born? Well, I'd like to take care of it if she isn't clean and sober. Barry, she said you're actually funding this addiction. I is that true? Yeah, I mean... Um, 
Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, I was screwing around when I was first married, and, you know, I felt guilty. Got her into heroin, probably. You know, we shared a joint here and there. So, yeah, I guess I'm giving her money. I mean, uh, to, a, to a point, you know. Are I you mean, giving her cash money? I'm giving her cash money, yeah. So you're saying, here's, here's drug money. Yes. You, you... <laughs> uh... Hi, honey. What's up? Uh, nothing, daddy. I need some money for drugs. Okay, here's some drug money. Here, enjoy yourself. Fucking loser. You know that. Yeah. Here's money to get some poison to put in your arm. Well, I know I've that's... I've asked him over the years to send the money to me so I can take care of her. Yeah, right. Take care of her. Mm-hmm. But he has a problem with that. So do I. If I send... <laughs> well, I, I guess that's his new wife, so, well, I don't, I wonder why she minds of the ex-husband sending money to the ex-wife. Sent the money to Karen, it would go, some of it would go to Karen's needs, you know, the, that's why I never did that. Right, okay. well, hell, I'd rather put it in a paper shredder than... <laughs> Then right. shoot well, it up her veins. In hindsight, I wish I would have put it in a 401k, you know, but... <laughs> You're giving her money knowing she's buying poison to put in her veins. I mean, the last three years, basically, I just gave up. I know you can't make somebody get sober. Y yeah, I know you can't make someone sober. Well, you know, there's many ways to help your daughter, and giving her money for the addiction is not it, you know? Um, use that money and do in interventions, get her help, get her to a psychiatrist. She's sick, so she's not going to know what's good for her. So you have to, you know, put a strong hand, tough love, and, and get it sorted, man. What the fuck? You think Karen contributes to Teresa's addiction because of a chaotic environment? Look, I'm not saying that... Giving up drugs is easy. I have luckily never been addicted to drugs. Um, I am a smoker. I don't drink. Um, so I know how hard it is to quit a vice. Um, I quit smoking for a few years. Um, and, you know, and then after a while, it just got the better of me. And I started smoking again. So I'm not saying it's easy. Yeah, but if you're not going to support her and you're going to feed this sickness, this illness that she has then of course she's never going to help. What, what's the point? You know, she's only going to get help when she goes uh, OD'd or, or, or she sees someone she loves dies because of it. And even then, it might be too late. Oh, absolutely. I mean, that's why I don't believe Teresa would stay there unless she was absolutely de desperate. And it's just not a good environment. Uh, it never was. I think once Teresa got to a certain age, um, she... She preferred to be around me than Karen, and I think that... Well, first of all, of course she prefers you. You give her fucking money all the time for every bullshit addiction that she has. And, well, you did say that your ex-wife was a Karen. Um, bless her for her name. Um, I guess that's on help. But, you know, it, it seems to me that this guy's just blaming uh, the wife, and the wife's blaming him. And none of them are taking any sort of responsibility in the issue. That's part of the anger that Karen has for me. Uh -huh. So, Karen, you know, we're just being straight up honest here. Do you have problems with emotional stability? I do have a very bad temper, uh, especially when it comes to my... No, I didn't ask if you had a bad temper. I asked if you were fucked up in the head. My children, if anybody is not treating them with respect, I will defend them to the hilt. Uh, well, that's not very... what I ask you. Let, 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 let me tell you something. I, I'm interested in this baby's well-being, and I'm not interested in you guys having a turf war or an ego battle. I'm interested in who will be honest with me, and you're smart enough to know, do you have problems with emotional stability? And you can spin that into a humble brag where you say, well, yes. I, I, I fight for my children if I think yes. they're under. That's not the question I ask. I ask you, do you have problems with emotional stability? Yes, I do. Do you have a... Well, 
you know, this was just a short version of the video. Um, I'm kind of eager to watch the rest, but the full video is over half an hour. So I thought that would be a very long one. But, you know, you may like Dr. Phil or not, but he is vicious and he loves his ratings. So the way he went against Karen and asked her, are you fucked up in the head? He's like, no, mate, it's not what I asked. Are you mentally... Ill. It's like until she said yes. Um, look, at the end of the day, both of them are wrong. Uh, this poor girl is not getting any sort of support from her father or her mother. Um, she's probably, you know, there's probably a lot of things that we don't know in the background. Yeah, sure, the father has some affairs and was addicted to drugs. And then, you know, the mother is uh, with bad tempers, as she puts it. Um, we know there's more to it, but you know, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So please, uh, let me know what you think. Um, would you like me to play the full video and uh, react to that? Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and please, more importantly, leave me your comments. And if you have any suggestion, suggestions, sorry, on any future reaction series, you can put them down there. Thank you very much. Take care, guys, for now.